A hot topic in the presidential campaign has been how federal tax dollars are being spent. The Athens County Job and Family Services released a report this week looking at how federal tax dollars are being spent in parts of central and southeast Ohio. Job and Family Services Director Jack Freck joins us now in the studio. Thanks for being here this evening. Thanks for having me. Now, why did you make this report and what did you find from it? Well, basically we thought, particularly at this time when uh, there's a considerable amount of political discussion going on and people are making decisions about um, you know, which candidates are important, what issues are important to them, uh, we thought it was important to point out that for the Appalachian area in particular, and we looked at the congressional uh, districts, the 15th and the 6th congressional districts, mm -hmm. um, that in those communities, because they tend to be poor, I mean, as most other Appalachian communities are, we end up having a, a lower tax burden because our incomes are lower. But on the other hand, we have a much higher uh, need for a wide variety of, of social services, human services, financial services uh, that ends up in us resulting in, in getting a much higher dollar amount back than we pay in federal taxes. And you know, we think that's kind of an important issue when people are out there talking about tax policies or programs, uh, you know, which programs to cut in a federal budget cut, that they understand the economics of our, our region. Now, you focus on, um, two of the things you focus on are health care and food assistance in your report. Why is that? Well, obviously those are two very essential services for people. People have to have health care and people have to have food. Um, you know, in, in those areas, it's not, health care is a good example. It's not just the, the dollar amounts that's coming in to, to, to help, you know, low-income families, but just to support the actual infrastructure for health care in our communities. Uh, you know, a majority of the tax, or excuse me, majority of the health care dollars that are being spent are being spent by the federal government, mm -hmm. you know, through Medicaid, Medicare, uh, government employee health insurance, a wide range of, of sources, veterans benefits. Mm -hmm. uh, if it weren't for those kind of programs, you know, hospitals and doctors would not be able to stay in business in these communities. Okay. And what would cutbacks do to those services? Well, obviously it would directly impact the families involved. I mean, if we cut back on health care, people won't be able to get those health services. If we cut back on food assistance, uh, people will be hungry. You know, that's what's happening now. Uh, you know, we don't actually provide adequate benefits in any of these areas now, but it would have even a further detrimental impact on our economy because of all the people who are employed in grocery stores and health care providers. Right. Uh, you yeah. know, all those uh, kind of institutions would also suffer economically. Right. Well, Jack Freck, thanks again for stopping by tonight. We really appreciate it. Well, thanks for inviting me.